Hello everyone, welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we are solving a problem in Young's double slit experiment. Let me read out the problem. In Young's double slit experiment, when a monochromatic source of wavelength lambda is used, the wavelength is lambda. Intensity of the light at a point on the screen where the path difference is again lambda. So it is given that delta x is lambda. If path difference is lambda, what is the phase difference? We have to find out first. The relation between path difference and phase difference as it is explained in the previous video lessons is delta phi equal to 2 pi by lambda into delta x. 2 pi by lambda. Path difference is also given like lambda. That means the phase difference in this case is nothing but equal to 2 pi. If the phase difference is 2 pi, what is going to be the resultant intensity? We know we have a formula. I resultant is 4 I naught cos square 5 by 2. So substituting this value 4 I naught cos square 2 pi by 2 that is cos pi cos pi is nothing but equal to uh, yes its value is going to be equal to be 4 I naught because given that its value is equal to 1 yes so the value of this resultant uh, the value of this resultant intensity 4 i naught is given in the problem as k. Now let us see the other part of the problem. What is the intensity of the light in the screen when the path difference is lambda by 3? Let us just repeat the same problem. Again delta phi equal to 2 pi by lambda into delta x. In the new case the path difference is given like lambda by 3. So the delta pi value is nothing but equal to 2 pi by 3. Again, using the formula as it is proved in the previous video lessons, resultant intensity of a Young's double set experiment is 4 I naught cos square delta phi by 2. Delta phi is 2 pi by 3 by another 2 is there. So the resultant intensity is 4 I naught of cos square pi by 3. That's nothing but equal to 4 I naught cos square 60. You know cos 60 or sin 30 is equal to 1 by 2. Square is there. That's 1 by 4. That's nothing but equal to I naught. You have to say this I naught in terms of the k. So from here I naught I can write I naught as k by 4. So my resultant answer in terms of k is nothing but equal to k by 4. That's what our answer to the problem, right? Thank you for watching. Keep coming back for more and more video lessons. Thank you.